Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, oh my god, this is the first time that I'm doing such a video and I'm like really really excited. I cannot believe it's already been a month that I've, that I've been on YouTube. Accomplishment, trust me. So anyways, for me. So <laughs> anyways, uh, we are going to do February obsessions in today's video. I don't know, I like spent so much of time coming out with the name for this video having february favorites like a monthly favorites uh, monthly likes monthly hits monthly misses have been like so common on youtube i don't know i was trying to come up with a different name so i came up with february obsessions i'm pretty sure that this already exists so i'm not gonna take like full credit for this but yeah so that that's the name that i'm gonna use i think most probably so anyways, let's get into the video guys. I do have a lot of favorites for the month of February and also uh, a little bit of Jan as well. Uh, maybe a week of Jan included in, it, uh, in this as well because I did start my YouTube channel in January and so I don't know. I'm just going to call it February Obsessions because it's been Feb for the most part. Anyways, uh, let's get into the video. So I'm going to start off like uh, in a sequence kind of a thing. Uh, the way you apply your makeup in that sequence, I'm going to start off with the products as well, if that makes any sense. Anyways, uh, uh, I'm going to start off with a primer and this primer, oh my, oh my, oh my God. I've been obsessed with this primer, guys. I've been using the LA Girl uh, primer for so, so, so long. And to be very honest, I've not been using this primer for the whole month of February. Maybe uh, on the last uh, few weeks or last few days in the Feb month. But oh my god, I'm so obsessed with this primer, guys. I uh, actually have been using the LA Girl Pro HD primer, which is right here. This is the LA Girl Pro HD uh, pr prep uh, primer. And I've been using this primer for the longest time, actually. And uh, then I uh, came across this primer and like this primer is like tada bye bye so i've been obsessed with this this is the milani prime light face primer strobing as well as pore minimizing and it's oil free exactly what it says guys it gives you that glow to your skin without making it look oily without it making looking greasy making it look crazy and obsessed obsessed with this primer please especially if you have oily skin just go 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 for this uh, sort of primer even for dry skin in fact because it does say it's strobing so definitely recommend it i am obsessed with this next i'm going to move on to the foundation now this foundation guys when i first saw it i wasn't pretty sure that i was gonna like it i mean this foundation i also did a review on this foundation by the way and this foundation did have a lot of cons as well along with the pros uh, but uh, just talking about the formula and how it looks on my skin and how it wore on my skin obsessed with this this is the maybelline superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation i'm in the shade zero six zero caramel 60 caramel and i'm obsessed with this foundation guys i mean i'm wearing the foundation right now and it looks so good this is such a good match to my skin tone it lasts a really really long time i've worn it on camera off camera and it looks absolutely fantastic so i absolutely love this foundation definitely recommend it i don't know guys uh if this foundation particularly caters to the all skin tones in the market but uh, if you do not find your shade in this foundation uh, apart from this i would recommend the maybelline fit me foundation uh, that did have a lot of shades and undertones in it so i would recommend that but if the, if this does fall in under your uh, skin tone or you get a match uh, for your skin in this foundation definitely recommend it from my side next we are going to move on to the concealer and i think most of you if you followed my videos from the very beginning you know which concealer i'm talking about i am talking about the makeup revolution conceal and define full coverage conceal and contour in the shade c10 i'm in the shade c10 and guys coming from me having a new favorite concealer is a really really big thing because for the longest time possible i have been using uh, the uh, i cannot find the that concealer right now story of my life anyways for the longest time possible i have been using the maybelline age divine concealer and i was obsessed with this concealer i never even bothered trying a new concealer in the market not even the dark shape tape i was like okay i'm happy with maybelline it gives me what i want and i was like okay fine i'm just going to keep using the concealer forever 
but then i saw this online i saw this on twitter actually and this was trending and all the beauty gurus in the most of the uh, beauty gurus in the youtube uh, on youtube really liked this concealer they raved about this concealer this and it was so cheap guys i think this is just 7 bucks and oh my god guys this concealer is everything i cannot say enough good things about this concealer it blends so beautifully it doesn't look cakey it gives you that full 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 coverage i'm wearing this concealer right now as well and obsessed next we are going to move on to the powder and the powder is the makeup revolution luxury powder uh, in the shade banana this is an absolutely fan stick powder guys i mean i'm not wearing the powder as of now because i just filmed like a quick 5 minute makeup tutorial for you guys and i'm filming this uh right after that i don't know which video will go up first whether the 5 minute one or this one i'm not exactly sure but yeah we'll see so this is my favorite 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 powder guys this is in the uh, this is in the shade banana and guys Makeup Revolution is such an underrated brand I feel because some of the products in that brand are like simply 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 amazing and this powder gives you that it gives you that glow it highlights your face so 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 well especially if you lay it on top of the concealer under your eyes on the high points of your face it looks so fantastic guys absolutely love this powder and especially if i'm doing my foundation routine like if i apply my powder first and then the foundation on top of the uh, powder this is the my, this is my go to powder guys there is nothing else there is no other powder that i even look at absolutely love this powder gives me that highlighted look gives me that glow brightens up my skin so 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 well. this is in the shade banana so this is mostly for my skin types i feel uh, it would go well especially for my skin types if you are anywhere lighter than my skin uh, my skin color then i think uh, uh, makeup revolution also has the same luxury powder in lace as well so lace lace as well so you can check that out and yeah absolutely love this powder next to the bronzer if you're watching my videos from the very beginning you also know what i'm going to talk about this is the makeup revolution bronzer oh my god three makeup revolution products guys three i absolutely love this bronzer i've been i already hit pan on this bronzer if you can see yeah i've already hit the pan on this look at the size of this bronzer guys by the way this is the makeup revolution uh, ultra uh, bronze uh, this is my bronzing shade i think that's the shade name or i don't know if there is any other shade name to this but uh, it just has the ultra bronze written on it so yeah this is what it looks like absolutely love this that and next i'm going to move on to the highlighter now this is not definitely a drugstore product uh, and i do realize that the products that i've talked so far have been drugstore but this is not like drugstore favorites or anything uh, so yeah guys this is the becca x jaclyn hell champagne pop highlighter just look at this i don't think i need to speak anything about this uh, highlighter guys like look at that do i need to say anything it is so i don't know where to swatch it like maybe here it is so creamy it gives you that glossy look guys there are so many highlighters in the market which do have do have a powdery finish sort of a thing but this does this is a pressed powder but once when you apply it on your face it looks so glossy i mean she came out with this highlighter like a really really long time ago but this is still like people are still crazy about this highlighter guys and look at that i mean still date i do still keep using this highlighter trust me so next we are going to move on to the eyeshadow palettes and i have not one not two but three different eyeshadow palettes in fact for the eyeshadow part there are two eyeshadow palettes and the other one is for a different reason but anyways i'm going to start off with the first eyeshadow palette and this is the huda beauty desert dust palette so yeah this is how the palette looks like amazing 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 colors amazing payoff the mattes are everything in this i i keep saying the word everything no no mm, so this uh, in this i should have palette the mattes are like really gorgeous the payoff is amazing the glitter is amazing and absolutely love 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 uh this eyeshadow palette i did use i did a first impressions and also did use this eyeshadow palette in uh, one of my videos and absolutely love this guys i mean look at this 
just look at this so gorgeous i mean i know the price uh, point of this eyeshadow palette is also pretty much out there but it's definitely definitely worth it guys because the formula itself of the uh, eyeshadows are pretty amazing like really really amazing and you get what you're paying for basically so yeah this is i absolutely love this eyeshadow palette next eyeshadow palette that i love is <laughs> i'm obsessed with jacqueline hill guys having a fan moment but anyways this is the jacqueline hill x morphe eyeshadow palette uh, I've, I've used this eyeshadow palette a lot as you can see by the mess that i've made of this uh packaging but yeah this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like such a universal eyeshadow palette guys you can do so many so many looks with this and i did do more than one look with this eyeshadow palette here on my channel i'll try to link them down below you can just check out my other videos as well if you're interested but yeah this is what it looks like guys you can do literally do so many looks with this i mean if uh, you want to buy like one eyeshadow palette and you're willing to invest in one good eyeshadow palette this would be it guys i mean multiple looks you're going to get you're going to get amazing formula amazing pigmentation amazing mattes amazing shimmers amazing pressed eyeshadows i mean this is like simply amazing so next uh, eyeshadow palette that i'm going to talk about uh, i've used this eyeshadow palette less for the purpose of applying an eyeshadow or more as a and more as a highlighter so i think this should come under the category of highlight but i don't know how where to include this in the highlighter section or the eyeshadow section just just so i'm just gonna talk about this now so this is the morphe 35f palette this is the morphe 35f palette and it looks something like this now as you can see the top row has been used a lot and i've used the top row as my highlight yes yes i mean it's simply amazing guys the uh so many things you can do with just one eyeshadow palette guys not only this eyeshadow palette any eyeshadow palette if you have that highlighter shade uh, most of the eyeshadow palettes do come with a couple of highlight shades and if you do have those highlight shades i would just recommend mixing all of them and you'll get a beautiful highlight shade and this is one of uh, those palettes guys i mean the top row of the complete top row is full of highlighting shades and by highlighting i mean the brow bow and the inner corner highlighting so this is one of those palettes and when i first look uh, first time i heard of this was again from jacqueline hill i believe on her snapchat uh, she just showed this eyeshadow palette and then she mixed all the shades i think it was jacqueline hill i do not remember it like for sure for sure but yeah uh, she mixed all of the shades and she applied on her skin and it was absolutely fantastic i mean just i'm just going to run my finger all across it and then i'm going to show you look at that isn't that a gorgeous highlighting shade and the best part is guys no matter what your skin tone is if you're more of a my skin tone or darker than me you can just use the last four shades and if you're of a lighter complexion you can use the first four shades so i'm just going i just mix the last four shades and i'm going to show you how it looks isn't that a gorgeous highlighting shade guys i mean i'm obsessed now i'm mixing the first four shades and i mix the first four shades so this one is the last four shades and this one is the first four shades so as i said if you are of my skin tone or a skin tone darker than me i think this highlighting shade is perfect for you and if you are of a lighter skin tone like this is perfect for you so yeah yeah so next i'm going to talk about the stila magnificent metals glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow and this is in the shade gold goddess and i did use this uh, in my uh, tutorials i think it was the date night makeup tutorial but yeah i used this and guys i am absolutely absolutely obsessed with this and this is also one of the most raved about uh, the liquid glitter eyeshadows and for a very good reason as well so it looks something like this it comes with a doe foot uh, applicator like this and because of an applicator like this it is so easy to use guys if you're using like a loose glitter or if you're using a loose glitter like this uh, you need to have that glitter glue and you have to be very very precise when you're applying it and it can get a bit messy and if you're like really good at it you can obviously get away by using this but if you're somebody who likes glitter but is like too lazy 
to apply a loose glitter you can go for this guys i mean this is just so easy to apply you just need to take out this applicator and just put where you want it to is there any free space anywhere you see here yeah like the worst swatch ever but yeah so this is what it looks like guys yeah, so this is what it looks like this is in the shade gold goddess and it is that easy to apply guys uh the only thing though that i would say uh, about this is not a con exactly but as soon as you apply it uh uh it gets dry quicker and so when you go to blend it out there might be some fallout so don't like blend it out like aggressively or something just use a very light hand while blending and make sure you blend it before it dries down if that's like do one eye at a time and then i think that that way you're good to go so this is what it looks like and i'm absolutely obsessed with this glitter eyeshadow guys i mean i'm obsessed with glitter in general and this is my go-to glitter now and i think i'm going to buy more shades in this range as well so next we're going to move on to the lips uh for the lips uh guys i am going to uh at this uh i've you i've tried different uh, uh liquid lipsticks on my channel here when i did makeup tutorials uh, but for the most part off uh, camera and on camera as well i've been using the mac uh, lipstick this is in the shade ruby woo retro matte uh, lipstick and this is what it looks like i mean mac guys i mean mac lipsticks can never go wrong and the shade range that mac has in its lipstick is like out of the world it's absolutely fantastic and especially this shade i feel guys it looks good on any skin tone this is the perfect red i feel i mean if you're looking for a good red look no further this will definitely be your favorite because it goes it suits all skin types okay all skin types and this is a must in your makeup goodie bag or whatever so i'm just gonna swatch yeah so this is what it looks like absolutely fantastic such a bright red perfect. color perfect red the next up i'm going to talk about a lip gloss uh this is the uh essence shine 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 wet look lip gloss and this is in the shade behind the scenes 01 uh so this is what it looks like this is basically this is just like a clear lip gloss uh and i've been obsessed with lip glosses guys and this is so perfect because you can use it on any lipstick i mean to be frank uh, i used it on a red lipstick and as you can see it did stain the wand a little bit but it is it has not transferred into the actual lip gloss which is great and if you don't mind looking at your lip gloss and seeing that red thing right there or any other lipstick shade right there down below then i think you can definitely uh, you're definitely going to enjoy this lip gloss this is basically just a clear lip gloss guys and i've been obsessed with lip glosses so yeah this is, i can i just apply it on top of any in fact i think i'm gonna apply this right now It looks so good guys it looks so juicy it looks so good if you're obsessed with lip glosses like i am then just buy this one lip gloss and you're done because this an essence guys oh inexpensive this is so cheap just buy this lip gloss guys like if you want to buy anything just buy this lip gloss buy this lip gloss next finally we are done just one product left and this is the LA Girl Force Setting HD Spray. This is a finishing spray. I absolutely love this spray. I cannot say good thing enough good things about it. This is for a matte finish kind of a spray. And if you're looking for, if you're oil, if you have oily skin like I do, then this spray is everything for you. So yeah. Uh, that's it for this video guys this were my february obsessions i absolutely loved all the products that i used uh, that i mentioned in this video guys these are like my i think i'm going to use most of the products in the month of march as well but yeah i'm so glad that i filmed this video and i'm so happy uh that i've completed one month on my youtube and i'm doing a, a favorite slash obsessions kind of a video oh makes me feel so good so yeah guys that's it for the video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope uh, you buy some of these products and if you do if you already have these products do let me know what uh, how you feel about these products in the comment section down below and yeah we'll have a little chat in the comment section also guys please do not forget to subscribe to my channel like this video and comment please 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 
give comment and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and i will see you in my next video bye